Hi guys, many of you all were facing the issue of YouTube live feature not working and I could see a lot of people commenting on the same thing. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can go live on YouTube using the ROG3 live feature. First, let's provide the required information. Go to settings, advanced and select game genie. In the end, you can see the live streaming settings and here you have to connect your YouTube account with Game Genie. Select the video resolution as full HD or high definition or 480 pixels. Major limitation of this application is, you cannot have both the game and microphone audio at the same time. You can only select one of them. Now open any game that you have to live stream and swipe right to open Game Genie. It is very important that when you are doing live streaming, you turn on no alerts and no call feature. At the bottom you can find the live feature and tap on it and you will be seeing this window. We can change a few settings here which we had set before like changing the resolution and the audio source. By default you will be seeing the title of the stream with the name of the game and its description with some hashtags. If you want you can change these. If you want to show your face enable this and the front facing camera will be turned on. Once you are done with all these settings tap on start and you will be seeing this message that everything on the screen will be recorded. It will take a few seconds here and I don't think you should be facing any problem. Once you are live, you will be seeing this icon and this can be moved to any part of the screen but only on the borders. If you change your mind, you can enable the front face camera again by tapping on this button. This button on the left will stop the stream event and on the extreme right you will be seeing this button using which you can share the stream link. The video you are seeing now is live stream video. I felt the video quality is really good and you can see it for yourself and it also depends on your internet connection. If you have a good internet connection, you can select 1080 pixels and if you have an unstable Wi-Fi where you see frequent drops, I think you should go with the 720 or even the 480 pixels. The audio quality here is also good and is in sync with the video. If you are planning to do streaming using mobile data, select a lower resolution and let me know in comments how that turned out. You can also control the stream audio from the volume keys. If you press the volume low key, you can hear the volume going low and let me completely mute this. Now you will not be hearing the game audio. Good thing here is that the streaming is not limited to any game. What I mean by this is, if you go to your home screen, the streaming will not end and you can also stream other game. The major limitation here is that you cannot stream both the game audio and the audio from microphone at the same time. I am looking for a workaround in this respect and soon I will let you know once I have any solution. That's all I had in this video and if you are still not subscribed to All About Apps, please do subscribe to the channel for more videos on ROG3. Thanks for watching and have a great day.